Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 1.1.2, I think the update is now. Uh, with Reinstein, we're doing the career mode and today's missions are... We've got to complete a couple of contracts, uh, which is basically the parachute contracts, but also I'm going to be driving around um, the space center with this little science hedgehog I've created. So without further ado, let's start designing our rocket to test these parachutes. Now I'm wondering, am I able to test them both at once. It looks like I possibly can. As long as I'm careful with the speed, I should be golden here. So I need to... I don't even need to go that high. I think a rocket with two of these FLT400 fuel tanks, maybe the fuel in... Uh, the swivel fuel engine as well. Then, where are these parachutes? So, that's quite a bit of a beast parachute, isn't it? Sticking that on top is going to look a bit silly, but doesn't really matter. And then we'll get a couple of these drogue parachutes and we'll stick those on the side. Now this big one should easily be enough to land us. So all it says is to haul them. We don't need to go anywhere with them. Uh, we, do, we do need to go somewhere with them, but we don't actually need to run a test or anything. So Jebediah is back in charge. Let's turn on our sass. Bring up my little contract thing on the right to help me see what I'm trying to do. Press space. And off we go. So we need to be going quite slowly here. If you notice the speed there, between 170 and 280 for the radial drogue chutes, and between 110 and 230 for the XL parachute Mark 16. So I don't know if this rocket's going to have enough fuel to get to 6,000 meters. It should do. Should do. I'm kind of winging this by by um, eyesight right now, by ear or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so we're at the altitude for the radial parachutes. We've completed that. Job done, I think. And then all we need to do is test out this next one. So we're going a bit fast for that one. So we just need to slowly creep up to 6,000 meters. As long as we're going above 110 meters per second, mission accomplished. Job done. Sweet. So all now we've got to do is open our parachutes. Yay! Oh, physics warp. Yeah, I know. You don't need to give me a reminder. Now, we're going to be landing this whole thing. Hopefully, this Mark uh, 16 XL parachute is strong enough to, well, land this beast. It's still got quite a lot of fuel in it. It'd be handy if you could jettison fuel, but you can't. And Jebediah looks happy. Mission is going well. The drogue parachutes are going to... Oh, that's going a bit too fast, isn't it? Alright, I know how to solve this. This is a bit too heavy. All we can do is just use a little bit of uh, acceleration on our rocket. If I can control that fine enough. There we go. We use up a little bit of this fuel to slow down our descent. Just increase that a little bit. We don't want to be going above 6 meters per second. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Now all we've got to do is land. Jebediah, mate, I've got you well under control. You're going a bit wonky here, not quite uh, where we took off from, but I suspect that's due, due to atmospheric forces and wind and such. Here we go. Slow down it. the engine, and we are safe. Jebediah, mission accomplished. That was relatively easy. Wow. <laughs> All right, so we didn't get any science, but we've recovered quite a few parts, which will... Uh, Please our budget masters, I would imagine. Um, yeah, so let me show you my little space science hedgehog. Not space, just a science hedgehog. Here it is. Beautiful piece of engineering. Look at that. <laughs> now, the thing with this is um, the wheels aren't powered. So what I've attached at the back is a Terrier liquid fuel engine. I can take off the circular air intake now. I was using um, a jet engine to power this. But uh, don't need that any longer. So let's go to our runway. Our runway looks absolutely atrocious right now. Look at the state of it. Now, what I'm going to do is power my way over towards... Well, over towards there, really. Let's not go too fast. I wish I had powered wheels. That would make this a lot easier. <laughs> but as it is, Jebediah's in charge of basically a wingless... A wingless horizontal rocket jet thing <laughs> so good luck to him all right seems to be going all right so far if I just cut my engine right here 
I can actually grab some science where I am. So let me show you my little X science module. There it is. Let's turn on our brakes and we should slow down nicely. Now we can do a crew report. So we'll go in there. Let's move my little science module. Crew report gives us 1.5 science. So we'll beam that back. The reason I've got, I call it a science hedgehog is because of all these batteries. But I think I need all these batteries in order to actually send back all this data. So let's get Jebediah out right now. Wow, I, I like the sound effects. EVA report. Uh, oh. Ah, oh, we need to be landed. There you go. Jeb, shift your way over to the side there. I don't know if he can actually get back in his rocket. <laughs> there he is. Look at him. He's like, yeah, look at me. I'm Zippy Longstockings. There we go. Another 2.4 science. Can we actually get back on top of this? I don't think his um, little jet suit's powerful enough to get him up on top of it again. Oh, he's crashing into the wheels. <laughs> right, Jeb. Open up your little parachute and jump. No, we can't get back in. <laughs> we need a ladder or something. Lol. All right, let's start that again then. Okay, here we are once more on the uh, airstrip. Let's put our brakes on. Do that little crew report again. Beam that back. We're obviously going to be able to get some mystery goo. You just move this science thing out of the way. Get some mystery goo. There we go. Beam that back. It's only 0 0.9 science, but it's all right, I guess. Let's do the materials bay. Actually, if I brought a scientist along to control this, I don't know. Then I could reset the experiments, but maybe... Maybe he wouldn't be able to control this sort of horizontal rocket. I don't know. Uh, material study... What else have we got to do? Temperature scan. Where's my little temperature module on here? Where did I put it? There it is, right on top. Lovely. Log some temperature. Job done. Temperature scan. EVA report. Yeah, that's the one we can't do. All right. Let's see how fast this bad boy goes. Ready? Oh. <laughs> Take off the brakes would help, Riney. I'm not as good as, it sh as I was in the previous playthrough, guys. This is all live now. It's all going pear-shaped. Oh dear, that's going a bit fast, isn't it? I don't know if, if I've got the right parts to be able to do this, but uh, I'm going to give it a go. All right, he's going well fast now. If this had wings, this would probably take off. No, no, we need to slow down. No! Put the brakes on. Look at the new effects on the wheels because of... Uh, oh dear, something's blown up. <laughs> that's not good. All right, I think we're going to have to give up on this for now. Okay then, for my next mission, I'm going to attempt hauling the Mark 55 Thud liquid fuel engine into orbit of Kerbin. We need to get up to 160,000 to 170,000 meters. So if I just click to accept that contract, I'm quite scared I'm not going to be able to do this. And if we do this one, we can actually orbit Kerbin as well. So that will give us some profit. Providing I can actually design a rocket that will uh, be able to achieve this, we'll have some nice profits. Now let's go into the VAB and take a look at what we're going to need to get up here. So this is all the parts I've got right now. This is going to be difficult. Um, we're going to need quite a large amount of Delta V. Probably circa 4,000, I guess. I'm not quite sure. Um, so we want to hold the thud engines. So if we put two of those on there, how much Delta V does that give us? And what thrust to weight ratio? That's not bad. 1.76. That would possibly get me there with 3,807 Delta V, but I'm not going to take any risks. I think what I'm going to do is use a couple of these radial decouplers and start off the mission with some solid fuel boosters. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work. It's a bit of a wonky looking rocket, but you never know. And since we're going so high, we are going to need... A heat shield so let's find that whack that on the bottom there we're also going to need a decoupler because I'm just going to land that part oh you know what we could do haul up the science junior as well hmm no I don't think I'll hold the science junior okay let me just make sure I've got my parts set correctly my stages and that one goes there Alright, so 4,154 meters per second delta V. 
yeah, I'm not going to lose this opportunity to try and get some science out of this. So, let's put a little temperature gauge on the side. Maybe I'll take a couple of mystery goo canisters as well. Put them maybe right there. Hopefully they will survive the re-entry. That should be good enough. Let's go to the launch pad and test it out. Fingers crossed. Oh, it's ugly lighting again. I wonder what time of day it is. All right, are you ready? Are you ready to see me fail? We haven't got any wings on this beast or anything. Okay, let me bring up my science thing in jig. Uh, temperature scan while flying low over Kerbin Shores. Well, since we need that, that's 5.6 science, providing we recover this in good order. So, there we go. It's a smooth lift off so far. It uh, seems to be a bit difficult to control at this stage. There we go. We can now control it. I'm just going to tilt a little bit right here. Try and do a um, gravity turn as well as I can with this awfully constructed rocket. It's quite frankly abysmal. Look at it. I don't think uh, this would pass NASA's quality control systems, but... Uh, it's the best we've got, so we'll do our best. 10,000 meters, and we are going at full throttle. I think I can start turning a little bit further right. Let me just bring up my contract. Wow, they want us to get to 160,000 meters. Oof, I don't know if I've quite got enough fuel. I can definitely orbit Kerbin, I think, provided we retain control of this rocket. These little thud engines are quite cool, you know. I've never really used them before. Not a lot. Especially not this early on in the playthrough. I've used them perhaps at other times. Alright, we can do an EVA report. I don't think I'm able to do that yet. Yeah, we still need to upgrade our astronaut complex. Alright, 33,000 meters. And let's just press M, take a look at what our apoapsis will be. Lovely. So I'm going to start turning all the way right now because that's at about 100,000 meters. Keep an eye on our fuel as well. There we go. Yeah, we need to get to... I think it's about 2,200 meters per second, isn't it? The, the speed you need in order to orbit. Are we there? So I, need, I haven't really got that much fuel left. Come on, Jeb. I don't know. I don't think you're going to be able to do this, mate. Fuel is running low. If Even if I do get you into an orbit, you may get stuck there. Uh, let's see. So I can't even do a maneuver here. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll try our best. Accelerate full throttle. And our liquid fuel is nearly run out. Do we have orbit? Do we have orbit? Houston, do we have orbit? I can confirm we do not. And we are... Do, does that count? Achieve orbit. Fly a vessel and fly out of the atmosphere and accelerate parallel with the surface until, you, until you're in a stable orbit. Yeah, we definitely haven't got a stable orbit. Alrighty, let's go back and probably add some more fuel to this thing. Alright, welcome guys. This is our second attempt at trying to achieve orbit for the very first time for the Kerbal Space Agency. So you can see I've changed my rocket by adding four of these solid fuel boosters now. And I've got two of the THUD fuel engines a bit further up on the side. Now you can see our rocket is struggling to maintain any sort of stability, but I'm hoping the increase in delta V that we've now got, which is about 500 delta V more than before, will be enough. Now, look at that. That is really unstable. It's a hideous looking rocket. And we're struggling to get high enough thrust here from these thud fuel engines. How tall would I have to build this rocket in order to achieve what they're asking? That's what I'm wondering. Hey, what's going on here? All right, let's tilt that way just a little bit. And now we can start tilting even further to the side. I think the uh, the structure of my rocket, or these fuel tanks below here, are obstructing the sort of uh, ability of the thud engines to change my direction here. That's what I think is happening. Now, I'm really missing... Um, Engineer, Kerbal Engineer Redux. The, the mod's not working right now, so I have... Oh, dear. 
Oh dear. So I have no idea of my uh, amount of Delta V left. God bloody hell, that was ridiculous. I nearly spun out of control. Um, let me bring up science. Uh, yeah, EVA report. Okay. So, <laughs> do you think I'm going to do this, guys? This is hideously bad right now, isn't it? Oh dear. Oh dear. Rockets flipping over. This is insane. And we have sort of regained control. <laughs> it's completely wonky. Look at it. It's just flipping like crazy. Oh no, there's no way we can regain control of this. Let's try that again. Good news guys, I did it! Here I am, I did it without being able to set maneuver nodes or anything. Look at my periapsis, 86,000 meters. And my apoapsis, 153,000 meters. And here is the rocket that I did it with. I've literally, you can't really see it very well because we're in the dark part of the uh, planet here. But I've got the Terrier liquid fuel engine and the Thud fuel engines, two of those. And I've got a tiny bit of Delta V left that I'm going to use to try and rescue Jebediah. We are in the middle of space. And this actually gives us a good opportunity to get some science. So let's not get too excited and carried away. Well, wow, 0.5, that's better than nothing. Let's do a little temperature scan while we're up here. Log temperature, 8, science. And we can't EVA yet, which kind of sucks. So we're not actually able to get that much science. Oh well. Now, this is bit's going to be interesting. What I need to do is try and reduce my periapsis without being able to set a maneuver node. Now, I think all I've got to do is turn my rocket round to face retrograde face the retrograde marker on my nav ball down the bottom here and just burn uh, burn enough so that I can start reducing my periapsis and there it is yeah so as long as I've got enough fuel to reduce this to about there we should be good yeah we've still got fuel we can do an EVA report I wish um, so yeah let's fast forward round to the periapsis remember we're gonna decouple this top part of or the main part of our rocket and that is all we're going to be having to land with, this tiny bit here. Now, has Reinstein remembered a parachute? He has, brilliant. Yeah, I was kind of testing it, guys, to see if I could do it. And then I actually got here and I was like, I can't record this again. I've managed to do it. You know, I can't lose this opportunity. So I was so happy. Here I am. Hey! Jebediah, you're going to be safe, my man. And this will be... Yeah, we know about physics warp. You don't have to keep showing me. And, uh... Yay, Jebediah is going to be safe, and our space program for the RKSE is uh, moving forward. That's the first time any Kerbinor has orbited the orbited Kerbin, basically. Here we go. We just need to uh, take a little look inside using this new feature, which I absolutely love. The interior overlay, is it called? Yeah. Look at that. There he is. Now, I could have saved a bit of Delta V by reducing the ablator in my heat shield, but never mind. We didn't. Um, you live and learn, eh? It's a lot better when I am not recording live, I tell you. Because <laughs> I get to make loads of mistakes. But here we go. We're coming in. Yay! You're going to be safe, Jeb. Don't blow up or anything, please. Look, something on the side is heating up drastically here. What is that? Oh, it's these mystery goo canisters. Come on, survive re-entry. You can do it. Oh, look how close they are to exploding. Jebediah is going to feel that if they do explode. Keep cool, Jeb. Wow, where are we? Where are we on the planet here? It looks like we're going to land in the desert. Let's hope there's no mountain that will uh, mess up my parachutes. There we go. We're doing it. Look. The mystery goo is just holding on. Not that we need the mystery goo, because it didn't actually provide me with any useful information. Oh, that one did. 2.1. That's better than nothing. There we go. We've made it through the atmosphere. Oh, we can do crew report while flying low over Kerbin's deserts. Cool. 3.5 science. Yay! What did that say? The heat rising from the sand causes the desert to move and shimmer. Sweet. Keep that experiment. I wonder if we should do a temperature scan here instead. I'm going to overwrite that previous one. Yeah, 5.6 science. That's much better. Now all we got to do is land this bad boy. Come on, Jeb. Come on. All right, time to deploy parachute. 
my solitary parachute. Please reduce my speed adequately. Please. Yay! We're at a good enough speed to land. I've never been here before. I've never been in the desert on the game. Unless this has changed and it didn't used to look like this. I'm not sure. There we go. We're coming down a little bit fast. But mission complete! Ha -ha! Time to recover my vessel and see what our money situation now says. Ooh, 72 science. Sweet! And we now got 712,000 funds. Plus one XP for Jebediah. He's advanced to level one. You demand, Jebby. All right, let's go to the R&D department and see what we can unlock next. Do we go for flight control or general construction, which could be handy, or oh, we need 90, 90 research points in order to unlock more science experiments. Hmm. In that case, I may go... There's no point in me really going for the general construction because we don't have big enough engines to use the Rockamax brand adapter. So I guess we're going to go for flight control. That is a success though. That require that will give us these Delta Deluxe winglets and the AVR8 winglet and a small inline reaction wheel. Sweet! All right, mission complete. Thank you ever so much for watching. Oh, that took a lot of work that episode. <laughs> Surprisingly more than I would have thought. You know what, before we go anywhere, should we upgrade our astronaut complex? Because then we can um, do EVAs, so let's do that. Upgrade, 75,000, not bad. Money well spent, I think. Thank you for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you're enjoying this um, as much as I am as well. Uh, send me your comments, and have a great day. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.